All right, so let's convert to polar form and then graph. So now, this nice one, this is in a rectangular form. So this is you know, negative x and a common negative y. So which quadrant should this point be in? Third. So third quadrant. So at least we know, like we can still go off of our understanding of rectangular coordinates, right? And understand that, OK, that's in the third quadrant. That's going to be something down here. Now, let's just, to understand how we're going to convert from rectangular, rectangular to polar, let's just plot a point in the third quadrant. If I had a point in the third quadrant and I needed to figure out the r and the theta, and I know that this point is negative square root of 3 over and negative square root of 3 down. Do I have enough information to figure that out? Yes, because all I need to do, guys, is create a right triangle. Can I figure out the radius? Right, the r. The r, guys, is basically just going to be my, um, my um, <laughs> hypothesis. Hypotenuse. So we'd say r squared is equal to negative square root of 3 squared plus negative square root of 3 squared. So it's our r is equal to, let's see, 3 plus 3 is 6. Just doing my math a little bit faster from there. OK? And then we need to figure out theta. Well, theta is from here to here. Be careful with that, right? When we say what is theta, we're looking for the angle from standard form. We can't figure out that angle right now unless we know what this angle is. Let's call this angle alpha. <laughs> would you guys agree? Now, do we have enough information to find alpha? Yes. That would just be, um, hopefully I have enough room over here. I can just say tangent of alpha is equal to negative square root of 3 over negative square root of 3. Yes? Could you just know that instead of saying this number that you could set it to 45? I would hope some people would make that. Connection. Not everybody remembers that, but yes, that's exactly what I would hope you guys would. And therefore, you can recognize by, you could type it in. You have a calculator. But yes, I would hope that you've done enough math at this stage in the game that you automatically know that this is 45 degrees, or in radians, pi over 4. Right? Right, so if from here to here is pi over 4, well then from here, again, we've got to go from standard form, guys. So from here to here is 4 pi over 4 plus a pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 4. So the answer would be square root of 6, 5 pi over 4. Now the square root of 6 is, um, Let's see here. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 4 is 2. So it's going to be between somewhere between 2 and 3, right? So is that a question? Um, yeah. So when, it's, so when it just says convert, from, or when it's talking about polar to like, or, uh, or just polar to rectangular, just like this, like all we have to do is just like graph and just show the points. No, oh, you have to figure out the radius and the theta, the angle. So you find the r by basically just using the Pythagorean theorem. And you find theta by basically finding the angle in the triangle. And then depending on which quadrant your triangle is in, you're going to be doing. Would you ask us word problems with these? With polar? We don't really have any word problems with this. Cool. So if I was going to do 5 pi over 4, that's somewhere around here. And that point is obviously going to be between 2 and 3. So I would plot the point like somewhere down there. 2.44, so yeah, it looks about just perfect. 2.44, right? Do we have to like make the radius? Huh? Do we have to make the 